Greetings from the friends of the NECP FFA. My name is Patrick Robnett. I am an outgoing president, so uh, we'll get to that later. But legacy is defined as something transmitted by or received from an ancestor or predecessor from the past, or is planting seeds in the garden you'll never get to see. Being an alumni member, we have the opportunity to witness the legacies being formed. I'm proud of the foundations of the NACP FFA that were established six years ago. Many don't know this chapter started with just five members. And what's cool is, is to see it all grow and, and see how, where their starting point was and then where we're at today. But our members of the past have flourished. We have some that have already are in the workforce as mechanics, electric linemen. We have one that's fixing to graduate with a degree in education, ready to come home and be an influencer in our classroom. We have one that's a published researcher in the, in the National Journal of Agriculture Science whose research is safe in po public policy or new, for new, be new and beginning farmers. We have a plant pathologist. We also have a member of the Honor Guard in Washington, D.C. And that's just the beginning of the legacy of the NACP FFA. The members of the past set in, set in, in the foundation the mission of the FFA, making a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through ag education. And it is why during the last year, living through this historic pandemic, these members just didn't survive, they thrived. We have witnessed the breakdown of students in education across America and even our community, but not these members. I recognize that they have had a hard year, some deserving complaints of unfairness, but these members, they stepped up and they kept living. We witnessed students um, who were told that they couldn't go to school, just lay in the house and melt away, not ours. Ours got out in fields, ours got out into the workforce. Ours were working for families, Ours is working for the community. Mr. Bledsoe, who's our state advisor, he famously says, if you're green, you're growing. And our young adults definitely grew. I just wanna take a minute, like we do every year, and point out some very astounding facts. One of the hard things about this chapter is our students don't seek glory, and they just, they just kinda of sit in the background and, we've, and we don't see the true impact that they have. And so we'd like to take a minute and just like express that. The average GPA of all of our members at NECP FFA is a 3.577. These students took 246 credit hours of college courses, totaling worth $123,000 this year. We have seven graduating seniors that earned $1 million in scholarships. At NECP, they, they, there's a nomination and a recipient of Leader of PAC. Three of the four members, or three of the four recipients came from this chapter. Mary Sam, she's, in, she's getting a welding certificate and is on track for an associate's degree in welding. Kelly Lewis has received a certificate in equine and also a certificate from agribusiness from Isothermal Community College. We had 12 turkeys raised this year. They had two lambs, two pigs, two goats, six rabbits. They did 750 hours of community service this year during all this pandemic that we've lived through. They've had countless placings in regional and state levels. Miss Need is the, uh, the nation's ag ed ambassador where she's mentoring other teachers across the country. With her leadership in the design and the execution of the Ag Field Day, it is the recipient of the Ideas Unlimited Award for NAAE. Ms. Need is also the representative for Northeast North Carolina and the North Carolina FFA Board. And this chapter was also identified as an outstanding uh, secondary program in the state of North Carolina. It is truly an honor that you let me be a part of your awesomeness. If you are not a member of the Friends of, F of the Friends of the NECP FFA, we encourage you to join our family so that you can witness the legacies that are coming in the future. 
This year, we've already had our annual meeting for the alumni. I am uh, going to be the vice president of the chapter. Ms. D. Scott was voted in as president. <laughs> Sherry Dew is treasurer. And Sharon Brown is secretary. Thank you for your all's time. Thank you all for coming. I uh, hope you all enjoy your evening.